Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today we'll be creating a corporate uh, intro or outro. And the reason for creating this tutorial today is uh, because, you know, I usually have to create a uh, quick, you know, corporate sort of intros or outros for uh, clients. And the reason why I'm doing this tutorial specifically is because this will allow you to quickly create um, intros um, you know, under, under like, you know, between five to 10 minutes. And, you know, usually this is great because sometimes a client, you know, doesn't necessarily have it in the budget. You know, they didn't really pay for, you know, having this high end, you know, intro and, you know, typically you still want to deliver a quality product. So the point in this tutorial is I'll be showing you guys how you can quickly create an awesome intro. And this is kind of what we'll be creating and it's very clean and you know I'll let you you'll be able to customize this you know completely in you know, between 5 to 10 minutes so uh, we have the, basically the you know the uh, cliche corporate uh, line sweep you know that draws attention onto the logo so people will you know get the logo in their head uh, we have a little bit of a we have like a lens flare reveal here uh, that brings on like a subtitle and you know we have these this nice little uh, intro here but so I'm going to go ahead and create a new composition and we'll call this one tut and I'm gonna click OK. So let's go up to Layer, New, Solid, and let's call this Background. And any color will do, and we'll click OK. And then let's go up to Effect, Generate, Gradient, Ramp. And then let's go ahead and go to like this uh, black color here, and let's set it to like a, uh, you know, a light gray, and we'll click OK. And then let's go ahead and set this to Radial Ramp. And let's go ahead and put the, like, let's see, let's put the first uh, color here in the center of our composition. And then let's go ahead and click swap colors. And that should be uh, just fine. And uh, typically in my experience of creating, you know, these uh, intros for clients, you know, usually the background is either going to be like this uh, uh, white color or like a black uh, background. So, you know, typically you can't go wrong depending on, you know, the type of client you have, but, uh, you know, usually going for white backgrounds usually good. Let me go ahead and bring in my logo here. And let's go ahead and start animating. So what I'll do is I'll hit S on my keyboard to bring up the scale for my logo. And I'll click the stopwatch. And let's actually go ahead and scale this down by a little bit. So maybe I'll put this down to 76%. And then I'll move forward in time to like the end of my animation. So let's just say 8 seconds is the end of this intro. And I'm going to go ahead and scale this up to like maybe 94%. So now we have created this animation that will go on the entire time. So now the next thing we can do is, uh, so this is where optical flares will come into play. It is a plugin. So if you don't have optical flares, uh, what I will suggest you doing is maybe going up to Google images and searching up like lens flares and being able to find lens flares that are on, you know, these black backgrounds. So you can change the transfer mode to add in after effects. And also, you know, optical flares is a good search term and also uh, flare images. So, you know, uh, with a little bit of creativity, you should be able to make those work. But um, we'll be using optical flares for this tutorial. So let's create a new solid and let's call this one side flare. And then let's go up to effect video copilot optical flares and let's go ahead and click on the options menu. And I'm going to only use like the built-in presets, uh, not the pro presets pack. So maybe I'll click on like natural flares and we'll go ahead and like find a flare that uh, could look nice. Maybe like this uh, blue digital might look nice. Then let's click OK. And then let's go ahead and set the uh, transfer mode to add. And if you don't see these transfer modes, just click on toggle switches and modes. So let's go ahead and move this to the side here. And what we can do is click the stopwatch for position X, Y. And make sure you're at the beginning of your timeline. And then let's go ahead and move to the end of our animation. So say eight seconds. And let's go ahead and scale this up like this. And then under the, under the flicker menu here, let's go ahead and increase the speed and the amount. And then now we'll have this flicker. Um, and that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and create another solid. And we'll call this one middle flare. And then let's go up to Effect, Video Copilot, Optical Flares, and click on Options. And then let's go ahead and click Clear All. And let's go to our Lens Objects and select a Glow and a Streak. And then we're done. Let's click OK. And let's go ahead and put this in the center of our composition. And let's go ahead and click Add under the Transfer Mode. And let's go ahead and put the Middle Flare. Actually, let's leave the Middle Flare there for now. Uh, so what we'll do is maybe right here move forward a few frames maybe four frames or something 
and let's uh, click the stopwatch for brightness and let's set that down to 0%. And then let's move forward a little bit and let's really increase that to maybe like right here, like maybe 200, uh, you know, 200 pixels there or whatever. And then let's move forward and then let's go ahead and set that down to like a low number, like maybe 60. Okay, so now we kind of have this going on here. So what we need to do now is uh, transition on our logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe drag the middle flare underneath our logo layer. And the side flare layer would be, you know, your own personal choice. Do you put it underneath your logo or do you keep it on top? You know, that all depends uh, because this does affect the logo a little bit. So, you know, depending on your client, you know, they might want that changed or, you know, if you're doing this for you, your YouTube channel or whatever, just keep that in mind. So what I like to do, especially when I have to create a quick intro, is I'll go up to effects and presets and under animation presets, um, I'll go to like maybe transform dissolves. And I already have a ton of, well, After, After Effects comes with all these presets and I can like click on it can be like block dissolve random. And make sure that your playhead's like at the beginning of your timeline. And then maybe drag the block dissolve uh, random onto our logo here. And as you can see, we have this beautiful, uh, you know, transition that is already created for us. So, of course, you know, you can go ahead and experiment with all these presets. There's a ton of them. So, you know, take advantage of them. So what we'll do now, since we have our animation preset, I'll hit U on my keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And uh, here is our animation right here. And what I can do is maybe like move this forward a little bit. So now we have this and maybe I will put the middle flare on top of our logo since that does look pretty good. And then let's go ahead and maybe just set this down to zero pixel. So it'll just come on strong and then it'll die down like that. So we'll have that nice reveal. And maybe I'll go to our background here and maybe I'll set the uh, end color here to maybe a more of a lighter color. Cool, and then, uh, so the next thing we can do is add that cliche uh, light sweep. So what I'll do is select our logo layer, maybe go to like three seconds here, and then go up to effect, uh, generate, and we'll click on CC light sweep. And let me go ahead and uh, take this little crosshair here, and I see we have our light sweep. What we can do is click on the center stopwatch, and we'll hit you on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes and maybe we'll move forward here to maybe like, you know, four and a half seconds and we'll just drag this across. And just like that, we have created a light sweep. Okay, so now the next thing we can do is maybe they want a subtitle, they have a slogan, maybe you wanna put their website in it, I don't know. What we can do is go to the text title tool and come here, click here and maybe type in, uh, I'll just put my website, www.sunduck dot com and maybe I'll select all this and then I'll just like scale this down and we'll also set this to black since white does not look good on a light background so now I have this black background or this black text sorry and let's see scale that down some more cool and if I need to center this up what I can do is go to the align tab and kind of just like click the center button here if you do not have the align tab up go up, go up to window align so that's looking pretty good so what I can do here is I can go up to effect, transition, and let me click on linear wipe. And then I'll click the stopwatch for transition completion. And let's go ahead and set that to 100%. And let's go to angle wipe and set that to negative 90 degrees. Since text should come on from the left to right. So what we can do is hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframe. And maybe I'll drag this back a little bit and move forward here. And we'll set this to 0%. So the thing about uh, linear wipe is that instead of going starting trans the beginning of the transition right here and ends right here, it kind of starts over here and ends over here. That's the only downside of this effect. Um, so as you can see, if I move forward here, it still hasn't come on. So it comes on right there. What I need to do is just really like maybe drag this keyframe forward here, just like that. And then one thing also I'll do is I'll increase the feather eight to forty. And then let's go up to, uh, let's go ahead and create another solid and we'll call this one a uh, subtitle flare. And we'll go ahead and click on effect, video copilot, optical flares, options. And you know, once again, we'll just use like a little preset here. Maybe I'll use that, maybe I'll, I don't know, presets. Uh, so many options. I'll just click on, you know, this prime 50 millimeter. 
um, and click OK. And then once again, set it to add. And we'll come down here. And one thing I need to do is maybe set the brightness down to like maybe 40, maybe 30. And then let's see, it comes on right there. So so it comes on right there. What we'll do is go to position X, Y, and then we'll move forward here, and it ends right there. And we'll go ahead and drag our lens flare across, hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And one thing we'll do is I'll click this uh, stopwatch for brightness. And then we'll move forward, we'll move backward one frame, and we'll set that down to zero. And we'll go to the last keyframe here, click the, uh, click the keyframe button right here. And then uh, let's go ahead and move forward one frame and set that down to zero. So now we have that coming on. So another flare we can create, um, and this is optional, is at the end, so our an animation ends at eight seconds. Maybe we'll go to like seven seconds, 12 frames here and create another solid. And we'll call this one uh, final flare. And then once again, we'll go to effect video copilot, optical flares and click on options. So we'll click on natural flares and maybe select a blue steel uh, flare and then we'll click OK. And then let's go ahead and maybe set it to add. And we'll go ahead and set this in the corner over here. And then you know, uh, click the stopwatch for brightness, set it down to zero, move to eight seconds and set it, you know, increase the brightness until it kind of fills the frame like that. So let's go ahead and enable motion blur and let's toggle switches and modes. And let's go ahead and set our logo layer to have motion blur. And then what's good about this is that, you know, now we can add, add this to render queue and add, you know, render this up. Um, and the thing about rendering this, it only takes about 30 seconds. So let me go ahead and just render this real fast. So after a quick render, this is what we have. And maybe this wasn't uh, my choice of lens flare right here, but you know, sometimes I go, I go fast through these tutorials. But anyway, if you guys have any questions or any requests for tutorials, please drop a comment down below or hit me up on my social media networks, links in the description of this video. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like, it helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more videos like this for After Effects. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And guys, hopefully I'll see you soon.